Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'll be going through uh, how you can render and use crypto mats from Blender uh, into different uh, compositing applications like Nuke and After Effects. So over here, I have a CG render of a car and I'm using the crypto mats to change the color of the car. Um, so a little history about crypto mats. Uh, so it's a tool uh, developed by John Vridman and Andy Jones. Uh, so basically it's a ID match uh, creation tool. So you can pick and select and generate masks on the fly in the compositing packages and then use it for treating your CG elements. And the good thing about it is because uh, it considers motion blur, transparency and depth of field and generates some really high quality masks inside your favorite compositing application. So I'm just going to be going through how you can generate that out of Blender and uh, what plugins you need to install uh, to make it all work. So let's just dive into the video. All right, so here is my Blender scene. Uh, so to render crypto mats, you have to be in Cycles Renderer. I think I'm not sure if EV supports it still, but uh, I just use Cycles all the time for my renders. So I'll just choose Cycles and then if you go to the uh, layer view layer properties, you can see we have all these passes. So you just need to check uh, that these uh, CryptoMat passes, so it will be based on object, material and asset. And then you have to go into your uh, output properties and make sure you have OpenEXR multi-layer selected so that crypto mats can get rendered into one of the passes, one of the layers actually. And and I'm just gonna set the path to the render. So it's gonna be crypto mat tutorial, crypto mat, let's just say crypto mat car. And then you say accept. And that's all you need to do to set it up inside Blender. I'm going to go ahead and hit render animation and I'll be back when we have a render. All right, great. So now we have a render and our crypto mat pass is rendered and saved to our disk. So to install crypto mats for After Effects, what we need to do is actually you will need a Pro EXR plugin for After Effects. So if you just Google Pro EXR for After Effects, you can go to the first link and you just need to download all the plugin files and then put it in the After Effects plugin folder. After that, you should have a menu in After Effects. Uh, if you go to Effects, you should have a menu in 3D channel called CryptoMats. So I'm just going to import my CryptoMat my crypto passes into this project file first. So let's go to File, Import, File. And then I'm just going to select the rendered pass and then say Import. And I had this one from before. Anyway, I just make a new composition out of it. Now if you select the CryptoMat pass uh, layer and then if you go to Effects, 3D channel, and if you have the Pro EXR plugin installed, you should have an uh, option to select crypto mats. So if you just click on that, it will show you all the parts of the CG element uh, for which you can generate a mask for. So there, you can just uh, press um, Shift and select multiple of these. You can just click on each one of them to select uh, a single mat. You can also uh, hit control, press control and click on uh, an already selected uh, mat and then exclude it from the selection. Uh, and this way you can generate masks. You also have an option to output it into uh, mat only. So it will just show you the mask and not the, uh, not in the RGBA. And then you can just, you know, use this layer as a mat layer and then you do your color corrections and stuff like that. So yeah, that was it for After Effects. It's pretty simple. You just install the plugin and it works right away. Next, we'll be moving to Nuke and I'll be showing you how you can use those CryptoMats plugins inside Nuke. All right, so for Nuke, um, you have to install the CryptoMat uh, plugin uh, for Nuke. So if you go to uh, the CryptoMat GitHub website, uh, you, there's a documentation for Nuke and how you can get CryptoMat installed in Nuke. Uh, you just have to download all the PY files and then uh, append the menu.py uh, and then it should pop up in your Nuke. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Just go through the new documentation and then you'd be uh, good to go. So I have already done that. And uh, if I go to my Nuke session over here, I have brought in my CryptoMat pass over here. And then if I go into the channels, I can see I have all these CryptoMat uh, channels for me to use. 
So once you have installed it, you should have a crypto mat icon over here. So if you click on that, say crypto mat. So we'll have the crypto mat uh, plugin inside Nuke, and then you just uh, connect that to the crypto mat pass. Hit one, and then select this picker add icon. And if you just hit Control and s click anywhere on the on in the viewer, you should have the crypto mat activated. And now you can just hit Control and select multiple mats, or just press. Uh, uh, click on remove icon to you know remove uh, whichever mask you don't want and this way you can use uh, uh, the crypto mat tool to change color on the on the CG element or you know do any treatment so yeah this was a very short uh, introduction to crypto mat um, and uh, I hope you like it and I hope it helps uh, you in your projects as well and uh, please consider to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep seeing more from me and um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.